everyone welcome back to Rina's YouTube channel this is part 5 of the HTML series in this video we will be adding more content to our previously existing web page in order to do so you need to watch the previous four episodes if you have not watched them and don't know where they are the link is provided in the description box below also share this video with your friends so that it might help them too now let us begin with the video. The first thing we will do here is that we will be adding some content over here. As you can see, I'm adding some dummy text over here, but you can always add some actual content. After this, copy the dummy content, all the real content about each animal. Due to demonstration purposes, I will be using dummy content, but you can add actual content about turtles, pandas, rabbits, and other animals. Also, make sure that you align them neat. Now, let us see how it looks. It looks good, but we have written very less content. Therefore, I will be adding more content. Now it looks good. Let's repeat this step again for all the various animals. Another cool feature in VS Code is that you can move your cursor over here, press Ctrl and multiply the cursors. After doing this, you can just uh, cut them all at once. This reduces a lot of time in scenarios like this. Now copy paste all of them at once. Now we can refresh the page and see how it looks. It looks really good. The next step we are going to do is that we are going to add a new type of CSS. In this, we will be using the star icon. What this basically means is that it tells you that every uh, time you use this particular symbol, the uh, CSS you write inside will be applicable to all the tags in the web page. Here, I will be specifying the font family. I will use my favorite, which is uh, Arial. You can choose any of your choice. As you can see, now the web page looks way better than how it was before. Now, the next thing we will be doing is that we will be adding a read more over here so that whenever someone wants to read more about a particular animal, they can just click on that button and go to a different web page. In this case, we have already created for pandas and rabbits. So we will be first doing it with pandas. As you can see, we can go here and type in read more. We can copy the relative path of this and paste it over here. One advantage of using the relative path instead of complete path is that when you host this particular website in any other platform, it you don't need to specify the uh, relative path again. This is because the complete path takes the path from your device and not from the folder that is hosted in. After this, we can just go back and refresh. Since we didn't add any content inside, it does not show them. If we refresh now, yes, if we refresh now, we can see that the read more option comes over here. But this does not look good. Therefore, we will be changing this to span. 
What span does is that it prevents the line that act that acts like a br tag between the paragraphs. Now you can see that it came back to the same line while keeping the CSS over here. But I don't really like the way the read more looks. Therefore, I will add more CSS. In order to add a CSS, I will be using a tag. I will be using another class called read more. I will assign this class to this over here. In this class, what I will be assigning is that I will uh, uh, give the color to be the same blue we have used in many places. And also, I don't like the underline over here. Therefore, I will be using a property called text decoration now. After you refresh, it looks like this. It looks way better than before. Now, what we need to do is that we need to test whether the, it is working or not. When we click on it, it takes us back to the pandas page. Now, let us repeat this process over and over again. Let us rename all these paragraphs to spam. As you can see, all the read more has come to all of its place. But we need to change it to its actual file. We can keep the same file for all the animals. Therefore, I will be naming it turtles. rabbits, whales, and dolphins. Now we will be creating all these files. The first file we will be creating is turtles. Also, don't forget the HTML extension. The next thing we will be creating is whales.html. The next thing we will be doing is creating the file named dolphins. Now we have a website for dolphins, whales, rabbits, turtles, and pandas. We will be adding more CSS to these pages in the next class. Thank you and have a good day.